What's going on, physics crew? Uh, time to start getting into some physics. So, first, uh, the first unit of physics is kinematics. The first topic is units of measurement and how we measure things. Um, as a matter of fact, I just realized I kind of would like to read the unit overview. So, why don't we do that together really fast, just in case people happen to miss this in a meeting. Okay, so let's read through the introduction to the unit really fast since this is the beginning. Okay, so the essential question for this first unit in physics is how can measurements be used to describe an action? So here's what we're going to be studying in the first unit. Uh, physics is the study of the universe and it's all based on observations and measurements of the physical world. Consequently, Scientists have developed tools for measurement and adopted standard conventions for describing natural phenomena. A convention means we all do it. It's the same for all of us. Okay? Fundamental forces govern all the interactions of the universe. The interaction of masses is determined by the gravitational force. The interaction of electric charges is determined by the electroweak force or electromagnetism. We'll get to the electroweak, why it's called that later on in the year. The interaction between particles and the nucleus of an atom is controlled by the strong force. And there might be forces of nature we have yet to discover. Changes in the motion of an object require a force. Uh, in the next unit, we're going to be learning about Newton's laws, which can be used to explain and predict the motion of an object. We're going to kind of touch on them slightly in the first unit here on kinematics. This first unit in physics will deal with the motion of bodies without regard to forces that cause the changes in motion. This is called kinematics. So there's something interesting about the word kinematics. So, oops, <laughs> I had something ready for chemistry. Let's switch it over to physics. Okay. So, uh, kinematics. Introduction. So do you notice the beginning of the word there, kin? That comes from, I think, Greek for motion. In Latin, it's sine. Where have we heard that before? Where do we watch the movies? We watch the movies at the cinema. Okay. So the reason why movies are called movies is because before movies, there were just staying still pictures, stationary. Okay. This is why movies are all still are still known as motion pictures, right? During award ceremonies, like the award for this motion picture. Now you know why they're called, uh, well, rather the movie theater is called the cinema because cine means moving. Okay, so kinematics literally means literally means the study of motion. There we go. So let's get to it. So before we can start studying motion, we're going to be making measurements, right? Well, you can't measure something in feet if somebody else is measuring something in Jonathan's and somebody else is measuring something in miles, right? We all need to be measuring things using the same units. So let's get to this. Now, I know in the United States we use the imperial system, which is from Great Britain, which is the country that the colonists fought off. So why we still use the British imperial system of measurement in the United States, I really don't understand. Most of the rest of the world use what's called the SI system. And these are called SI units. What does SI mean? Well, this is the international system of units, which in French would be le système international des units, or whatever. Um, so SI, system international. So basically it means the international system of units. It is the modern day form of the metric system. By the way, the word metric literally means to measure. And it is the world's most widely used system of measurement. Here are some of the most basic units of measurement in the metric system. If you are measuring distance or length, that is the meter, and the symbol is a lowercase m. Mass is measured in kilograms. Believe it or not, it is measured in thousands of grams, not individual grams. We'll get to why later. 
but um, I know you would think about it as grams. But the base unit of mass is actually the kilogram, which is 1,000 grams. And the symbol is kg, or grams would just be g. Time is the second, which is a lowercase s. When we get to electricity, electric current, how many uh, electrons are moving, is called an ampere, uh, amps, A. Temperature in the SI system is measured in Kelvin, not Fahrenheit or Celsius. The symbol's K. Uh, the reason why, if you remember some chemistry, is that Kelvin doesn't go to the negatives. It stops at zero, the lowest temperature possible, where atoms totally stop moving. Uh, another number from chemistry you'll remember is amount. It is a very specific number in science called a mole. Um, and it's six, basically it's six times 10 to the 23rd power. And the symbol is MOL. Luminous intensity, which is brightness, is called a candela. Well, take a while to guess why it's called a candela, okay? And that symbol is CD. Now, we can go from these units and come up with a few more uh, involved ones based off of these. When you make something up from other things, I don't mean make up like you, it's fake. I mean you made something out of other parts. That's called being derived. If somebody accuses you of something, you could say, where did you derive that information? I mean, where are you coming from, from them? So derived units are special units made up from the basic international system units. So a few other units that we should get used to are, one, if you've ever messed with the EQ system of a speaker system, is called Hertz. That's HZ. That is frequency. So that's literally per second. It's seconds on the bottom of a fraction, which is to the negative one power. Anytime you see something to the negative power, that means it's on the bottom of the fraction. So it's per second. Force, we're going to be using that a lot. That's Newtons, capital N. And again, don't worry about it too much right now. But a force of one Newton is one kilogram times one meter per seconds squared. Joules, like how much energy something is using or how much work was done, that's J. You might remember joules of heat from chemistry. That's a newton of force times a meter. Basically, you used a newton times one meter. So that's kilograms times, wait a second, a newton is a kilogram times a meter times a meter again. So we get meters squared. So kilogram times meter squared per seconds squared. Power is joules divided by seconds. It's how much work is done every second. So it's joules per second is a watt. When you buy light bulbs, their power output is measured in watts. So now think about it. If a joule is this, divide by seconds. Well, we have seconds on the bottom of the fraction, not the top. So instead of canceling, we're going to divide by seconds again. So that's going to be seconds to the third power on the bottom of the fraction. Um, so it's kilogram times meter squared divided by seconds to the third power. But by the way, do you notice why we just have one unit for these? Because, you know, it's like, uh, do I really need to write all that? No. It's a 40 watt light bulb, meaning 40 joules of heat per second or light per second come out of the bulb. Something else from chemistry is Pascal's, which is a unit of pressure. It's how much force is on every square meter of a surface. So when you press on something, look at the word pressure, press. That's a newton divided by a meter squared. So if you take a newton and divide it by meters squared, this meter cancels, oops, and you end up with a meter on the bottom. And so you get kilograms over meters over seconds squared. Again, don't sweat it. I'm just showing you what the units are. Electric charge is measured in something called a coulomb, and it's um, how much electricity times a second. There's no real base units. Like there's like an amp is an amp. So, I mean, that's coulomb. Yeah, that's it. Uh, voltage. Voltage is newton times a meter per coulomb. Uh, <laughs> again, I worked it out here. Don't worry about it. It's a joule per coulomb. That's volts. That's when you plug something into an electrical outlet. And then how hard it is for electricity to pass through something has a symbol uh, omega, and it's called an ohm, okay? Uh, again, really interesting. Don't worry too much about those at all. Now, what I want you to do is I would pause here, and I want you to try to figure out using these units given to you, 
what makes the most sense for a few of these questions? So I'll read them, but I want you to try them. So which unit would you use for each of these magnitudes, which is the number given? It's kind of like so, saying, uh, yo, I need 500 seconds of fish. Like that doesn't make sense, right? Um, this dog weighs 20 meters. That doesn't make sense. So I want, what I want you to try to do before you skip to any answers or anything, try to do these on your own. See if you can make sense of uh, what unit would go after this, these numbers. I'll read the first one. An electrician measures an outlet with a potential difference of 120 watt. So what I want you to do is go back to these guys here. Okay, and figure out which one of these makes the most sense for this, if this is electrical potential difference. What about this? It says blue light is electromagnetic radiation with a frequency of three, uh, 630 tera somethings. Okay, so frequency. What about this? Uh, you're talking about the speed of a jet airplane has a speed of something... Right? Like, think about it. How do you find speed? I'll give you a hint. Think about in the United States, we say miles per hour. Miles is a measurement of distance or length. So what would you have here? 220 something per second. The power output of a light bulb in a house is 100 something. That's the power. And then this says the amount of electrical charge that one electron has is some thing here is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, very small, one electron, but it's electric charge. So go back, try to figure out what units make the most sense for these. All right, and we'll come back in another video, but there's the introduction to units.